got something really cool for you today, a fiber marking laser. First, let me explain what it's not. You know, those cheap laser dial engravers that burn wood and such? You saw me use one in the past to engrave sugar cookies. Those are kind of toys. Fiber lasers are the industrial version of that using a much more powerful laser source and a galvanometer. A motorized mirror instead of a gantry, they can easily and precisely engrave metal, stone, and pretty much anything you like. The problem is they're usually big, heavy, and not very user-friendly. The EM Smart Laser aims to keep the power of commercial fiber lasers, but in a lightweight form factor and with more usable software. Let's open it up and take a look. While I can use it just like this, it wouldn't be very safe. Fortunately, EM Smart sent over in an enclosure to me. Let's put it together and use that. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. Okay, before we use the software, we need to connect to our connect the machine with our laptop via USB cable. Next step, we are going to turn power on our machine. So first I am going to release the emergency button and then power on. Okay, this is the EM Smart Software, it's called EasyCat. So, I have a bunch of stuff over here. I'm going to give you a sample of how I do it, of how I uh, uh, get started. So, I'm going to engrave on the bottle opener first. Oh, before... You I do it, I'm going to take off the cover and use some paper to wipe off any dust on the lens. Okay, on the right side, that's the <coughs> used default parameter. So these are all preset. The power is 50% now and the speed is 1,500 um, millimeter per, per seconds loop count one and if you want to change that you want to change you want it to engrave three times it can do that and you can change the power to 60 
frequency 20. Yeah, let's leave it at that and I check the remember to click the image first before you try to find out where it's going to be. Okay, let's try that. Let me close uh, the side and let's mark it. Not bad if I want it to go more passes, I can change that uh, in the software. But right now it seems pretty good to me. So I've got some car over here. I am going to put that in. So now it's at the bottom. We just need to move it left or right. And you can actually put the items freely anywhere on the build plate. I just like to put it near the fixture. Leather is pretty small, we can change it to dirty. Let's see. And then move on there to the right. Okay. You can go to edge. You can move the contour outside or inside. You can even uncheck the photo edge once. Change the type, different type. I'm going to do the same thing, this time 0.5. Okay. So uh, the parameter already loaded in, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, when they send ship out this machine on their USB, they have the parameter settings that you can just uh, import it in it's pretty convenient so let's see how it does with the ladders see now maybe i'm testing em small fiber lace oh sorry i didn't write laser i write lace pretty good all right let's do more tests on different objects. I got a lot of these dog tags, tons of them because they're super cheap on Taobao. So I got tons of them and I am going to engrave something on this dog tag. Here's one more, please send me home. Oh, still you have to make sure you see the point. There are uh, one point, and that means it's okay. The height is okay. Otherwise, if it's two separate ducts, you have to connect them together. Okay. Let's do it. I also got some uh, alcohol bottles. I got a couple of different things stuff. Uh, okay, let's check it out. Uh, much better now. I can see the eyes, but I I think I also need to make adjustment to the nose and the mouth too because you see you can see the eyes the line is deeper now but you can easily change it in the software let's make another one let's make another tag i think i have another tag. i have another logo to try okay So because Momo is a husky, I think this one is more suitable for her <laughs> because the other one is just a dot logo, right? And if I'm going to engrave something for Momo, this one looks more like her. All right, 
Let's try it. And let's change the leaf. It passes. Okay, let's take a look. I'm Momo the Husky. This is pretty cool. Next, let's try the alcohol bottle. All right, let's take a look. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now I can put some alcohol in and stick it in the office. Although I work from home, so <laughs> I don't need to do that. Next thing is I want to try to engrave on, on, on this pen because it's so skinny, this one. I've already engraved on so many white objects, so that's what I want to try. Uh, I just rotate the letter, I place it vertically and it still come out alright but a little bit crooked. I think I need to rotate it a little more. Let's try that. I don't know what the barcode is for. Let's try that. Interesting. There's only the barcode. Okay, let's try this. All right, next let's try our toolbox. Let's see if... Let's double check the area, the, the, the docks. Okay, it's not aligned. Let's do the barco thing vertical. Okay, this is pretty cool. Next, I'm going to try to engrave on the lighter. I also got a bunch of lighters.
right, this is the lighter. I put the number one on it. The Rousseau is nice though. Uh huh. So cute. All right. So the EM Smart does exactly what it's supposed to. Nice engraving. Fairly easy to use software. Although Windows only. It was able to cleanly engrave everything I could throw at it without requiring any sort of coding or marking compound. It has a 260 millimeter by 440 millimeter watt area, uses a 20 watt fiber laser and weighs 10 kilograms or 22 pounds. It's well built. The enclosure makes it fairly safe. Although I would add a wind. But the big question is, who if anyone should get one? Well, in my opinion, at about $2,800, not hobbyists, you can get a CO2 laser cutter for about that price and build a whole shop around it. A fiber laser like this, this is a small business purchase. If you run a machine shop, make and sell knives, custom metalwork or jewelry, stones, minerals, pet store for custom tags, anything like that, offering custom engraving will pay for this in months and earn steady profits after that. The lightweight, speed, and enclosure means you can bring it to events and do custom engraving on the spot. It's an awesome way to start a small home business that will quickly turn a profit. As a hobbyist level tool, yes, it's very high quality, but I just don't see it making sense unless you are very well off and just love new tools. If so, go for it. But the engraving metal and stone is just a very specific task for a machine that costs as much as this one and a task that's mostly called for commercially. Okay, I hope you enjoy learning how to use a fiber laser and seeing one in action. If you think it will be useful for you, the purchase link is in the description box. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.